Welcome back friends. Today we're going to test out a bunch of different 22 ammo here in my Ruger 1022. We're down here at the Big Rock Gun Club and it is a steamy hot Saturday afternoon. Let me tell you a little bit about our rig here we're going to be using. Uh, it's my Ruger 1022. I got a Boyd stock here. We have a uh, kid single stage trigger, 16 inch kid fluted barrel, Harris bipod, we bad bag, and I think this will be a pretty fun little experiment. We've got seven or eight different ammos we're going to check out. We're going to find what shoots best in this gun uh, at 50 yards. If we have time today, we'll take uh, two or three of the ones we think they're going to shoot pretty good, and we're going to move them on out to 100. Of course, I'm going to have to redo this all over again when I get my CZ457. Uh, That's going to be another complete animal. And I still have some other ammo that I want to check out as well that hadn't showed up yet. So this is going to be kind of like a part one of a two-part thing uh, to try to find uh, some ammo. Uh, the ammo we're shooting today is you're going to see a lot of the stuff um, that you probably shoot. We're going to shoot four different types of CCI ammo uh, among some others. So let's get, uh, let's get ready and I'll show you who today's contenders are. Okay folks, here's our contenders for the day. In the bulk category up here, we've got some CCI. These are copper-plated round-nose bullets, 1,200 feet per second. This stuff usually runs pretty good in my 1022. Then we have some CCI standard velocity. This is a lead round-nose. These are all 40 grain, and this is 1,070 feet per second. I put it right next to the green tag CCI, which is also 1,070 feet per second. Uh, the website shows the specs exactly the same. The only difference is the price. This is about three times the money here. Uh, in a 50 round box, which I don't make, but if you're looking at 50, this is about $8.99 per 50. $3.50 per 50. So, is this almost three times better? Well, we'll see. They're right next to each other. We've got some CCI mini mags. Now, this is a copper plated round nose at 1235 feet per second at the muzzle. Got some Norma here, the Match 22 at 1,082 feet per second. That is also just a lead round nose bullet. And this one here, the SK, I've never shot any SK before. This is the red box, this is the rifle match, and it's a 955 feet per second uh, lead round nose as well. Somebody told me this stuff shoots pretty good. I've never shot any either. This is the Federal Gold Medal Target, 1,080 feet per second. And then down here is the good old Federal Auto Match, 325 per box. And this stuff feeds through my 1022 pretty good, and it actually shoots pretty good. So we're going to see how it stacks up against some of these others. And then we'll talk about price when we're done. Now what I'd like to do today we're going to shoot all these at 50 yards and then uh, we're kind of going to weed out the, the stuff that's obviously not going to work well for us and if I have time we're going to move on out to 100. So let's get started and see how this is going to work for us. Surprise folks! You guys thought you were going to get the chance to sit there and watch me sweat my ass off in 90 degree heat shooting round after round after round. Well that's not the case and just admit it you only want to know what the results were anyway, so let's just get to that. I gotta tell you, I was pleasantly surprised on some fronts and a little disappointed on the others. Some of this ammo really held up well, others not so much, but let's just go and give you the results and you can decide for yourself what you might want to do. Now once again, just remember, we're running a 1022 here, a 16 and a half inch barrel, 90 degree heat, little bit of right to left wind just a fat ass old goat rancher just trying to get stuff on paper so there's not going to be anything special here from a precision shooter standpoint or anything like that this is just how i shoot it and this is how i ended up in our number one slot was the federal auto match bulk ammo <laughs> this stuff is about well, if you, if you bought it in a 50 round box, it would run you about 389 a box. All these are gonna be lead round nose bullets with the exception of a couple CCIs that are copper. 
but nothing special at all. This one here flies at 1200 feet per second and we got a 0.421 inch grouping. Really nice. I've shot a bunch of this stuff. I still have a bunch of it and I'm super happy. It's never failed to feed in my 1022 and that's something you got to consider when you run the semi-automatic. And uh, so I was pleasantly surprised with our winner here. In number two, another one that I shoot a lot of, the CCI Mini Mag. A little faster at 1,235 feet per second, but look at this, dead center. These are all five shot groups, by the way. This is a copper plated bullet. And we ended up with a grouping of 0.601. And these things here, uh, the Mini Mag, I think this stuff is, I forgot how much it is. It's not that expensive though, but you see it for sale for everywhere. I think it's maybe $7.99 a box of 50, so basically $4 a box. Good value, good shooter. Now, number three, I've never shot any of the standard velocity uh, stuff from CCI, but a lot of your competition shooters shoot standard velocity, but they're also usually shooting a bolt gun too. And, um, uh, I was wondering how this was going to run in my 1022. Now, if you take out this flyer here, we've got a pretty decent little grouping here, 0.657. Didn't have any failures to feed or anything like that, and this stuff is reasonably cheap. It's, uh, I think it's about $2.99 per 50. So, about six bucks, six bucks per hundred. Number four. Norma Match 22. Never shot any Norma, but I thought I'd grab some because after all, I'm here to serve you. $6.99 a box. Got a grouping of 0 0.691. 10,082 feet per second. When I start getting around 1,000, I'm wondering if it's gonna feed or not. And that was the problem we had. If you'll see right here, I got a failure to feed and a stove pipe in my 1022. So we won't be running this again in the 1022, but we'll put it in the can and it'll be a good candidate to run in the Tika, you know, in a bolt gun and see how it works. Because we're going to do this uh, again here in a couple weeks. I've got four or five more ammos that I want to run through the 1022. I've got a couple different Ely's coming, a Remington uh, Target, uh, some Lapua. So we'll get to see how those run and then we're going to stack up the best of those against some of the best of these. Just continuing on the program because after all I'm here to serve you. Now our fifth place winner was 22 Plinkster's favorite ammo, the old CCI green tag. Shot a group here of 0.74. Now the specs on this, standard velocity, the specs on the green tag are the same. But this is three times the price. Oh, come on, what the hell's going on there? So I sent CCI an email and I'm just going, hey, you know, your specs on these are identical on your website. Except I shot this better than I shot that. How come that's three times the price? I haven't gotten a response yet, but when I do, I'll be sure to pass that on to you. Here's another ammo, SK from Germany, ya. Yeah. This is the rifle match, also known as the red box. Pretty anxious to shoot this stuff. I noticed that it had a oily texture to it when I got it. The round was uh, kind of oily, but at only 955 feet per second, I had a failure to feed in a stove pipe. But take a look at this grouping here. Now that could just be, you know, the old fat ass goat rancher right here. And we got a grouping of 0.78 if you include that. But if you take this thing out, this is a 0.476 grouping. That ain't bad. That's not bad at all. So we'll put this back in the can with the Norma. We'll run it through the Tika bolt gun and see how it does. So we're not going to throw it away just yet. Number seven was the Federal Gold Medal Target little slower round as well, uh, 1080. Grouping's not all that exciting here. 
0.78, but once again, doesn't run good in the 1022 semi-automatic. We had a failure to feed. So the three musketeers here, they're gonna be uh, no bueno on the 1022. One of my big disappointments was the number eight place finisher here. The old CCI AR Tactical copper plated 1200 feet per second bulk ammo. This stuff, if you only bought it in 50 round boxes, it would be $389 a box. Not bad at all. But we got a .793 grouping. You know, in the grand scheme of the universe, not bad. Good plinking ammo, you know. But if you're going to, if you have this Federal, 325 rounds, and you have shooting a .421 group, and you got this shooting a .793. I mean, and the money's about the same. What are you going to do? So there you are. Now I understand this was a 90 degree day. We were starting to get just a little bit right to left wind. I decided to, uh, just for the heck of it, let's kind of have a round two. Uh, but the wind really kind of got crazy. But I went ahead and loaded up a few mags and shot some other stuff. I'll just pass it on here real quick. Um, once again, the Federal Auto Match just kicked everybody's ass. It was really pretty good. Uh, dead center here, 0.603. The green tag did a little better. We're uh, about a MOA and a half low here, but just all super tight here at 0.62. We're still going to continue to kind of evaluate this and see how it works. The standard velocity, uh, 0.78. So these kind of reverse themselves in the second test. Um, I went ahead and shot some of the AR again, and we got a .93, still just not that great. Uh, I think the standard velocity doesn't do well in the higher wind, obviously. The green tag did a little better. I did some CCI mini mag up here, and I could see I was floating off, and I, I made one adjustment and, and got back over here on the right side of the target. But once again, the Federal Auto, Auto Match, uh, that's going to be our queen for the day there, if you will. So there you have it, folks. Those are my results. Just the average shooter shooting a bunch of different ammo so you don't have to go out there and waste your money. Let me know what you think, what's run good in your 1022. We're going to do a round two of this here pretty soon with some better ammo, like I said, some Ely's and stuff, some Lapua, and that'll be fun to do as well. And when we're done with that, we're going to try to find some ammos that work out to 100 yards, maybe farther on the 1022. And then we're done with that. Then we're going to grab the Tika T1X and we're going to see how some of this stuff runs through a bolt gun, just so you'll know. So let me know what you think. Give some comments down below. Don't forget to ring that bell up there and that'll let you know when I'm going to have out another video and you'll be first to watch it there. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like our videos. So until next time, you guys be safe. Keep the muzzle pointed downrange and we hope to see you down the road. Adios.